After watching this video, you'll understand how to set up and use Figma components with variants. We're gonna start by preparing a screen. So I'm gonna go select the frame tool and create a frame with the dimensions 1000 by 600. And this is gonna be our screen. So we're gonna name this screen. And let's say that you want to create a button component uh, that you then like to use on this screen. So how do you do that? So I'm gonna go to the text tool and write button. It's gonna be all caps. I'm gonna press Shift A to create an auto layout. If you want to learn more about auto layout, the link to the video is here and in the description below. Let's get back to our example. So I've created a button and it's gonna have a background. Let's say it's gonna be a red button, for example, with a white text. And we're gonna also adjust the spacing and make the red a little bit you know, softer so that it's not that contrasting. Okay, here is our button. If we select the button and go here or press Option Command K, this will turn into a component. So I'm gonna press Option Command K and you can see that it turned into a purple element. This means that it's the component. Right now, if you want to use it on this screen, you have to go to Assets. If you look through this list right here, you'll find this component that you just created. So I'm gonna click and drag it onto the screen. This is how you set up and use components. Whenever you see this symbol, this means this is the main element. So whatever changes I make here, this will affect all the instances. So this is a component and this is an instance. So if I change the color right here, you can see that this instance reacts to any changes we make. Okay, so now we have, we have a component, we have an instance, but we would like to create variants. How do we do that? We select the component and then go here to add a variant. Uh, let's say that on your, in your project you'd like to use red and blue buttons. So you're gonna have two variants, red and blue. So uh, the second variant, we're gonna change that color background of the background to, to blue like this. And also when you select the component, here you have properties. So the property one, that does not really say what's being changed here, right? So if we name this, for example, color, I think that's a better way to describe this component. You then have a component that has a property called color and the values of this uh, property are default and variant two. So that's better. Although default and variant two does not, again, doesn't really describe what's going on here. So if we select this first variant and instead of default, we're gonna say red. And in the second one, we're gonna say blue. I think that's more understandable, right? So now if we go back to this instance, you can see that we have a property called color and you can then choose from red and blue, right? So we created another variant through the property called color and the property has values red and blue. You could make any changes to whichever variant you want. You could name your variant blue and then make the background green, right? So it's gonna say color blue, all, even though it's, uh, it's green. The reason is that we, we chose a naming convention and then we on purpose changed the color so that it doesn't correspond. You have to pay attention to that, for example. If you're creating uh, new variants, watch out for the naming and the actual changes. So we're gonna revert that back to blue. And perhaps you'd like your button to be a little bit more, like to have more options. Let's say that you, you'd also not only would like to choose from red and blue, but you'd also like to select whether the corners are rounded, right? That's definitely possible. You can select these two variants within the component and then press option and then drag to create two new variants. Be careful not to dr drag this outside the boundaries of the component because then it becomes an instance. Instead, we want this to be a variant within the component. So now that we have four variants, we have to specify the second property, which is gonna be corners. So we're gonna select this and then go to properties, create a new property and I'm gonna say rounded corners and value is gonna be no. For these two, the value is gonna be no. And for these two, the value is gonna be yes, yes. And we also have to specify that the corners are actually rounded, like so. And now if we go back to the component instance, you can see that you have two properties to choose from. It's the color and rounded corners. Also, we have to specify the color for this one 
which is going to be red and blue. So right now we can choose any color we want and we, we can toggle around the corners. So this has been a very basic overview of how to create and use components with variants in Figma. If you have any questions or if there's anything unclear, let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in tutorials on Figma and UI and UX design, I do plenty of those on my channel. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.